Get ready, folks. This is going to be fun. A team from Minneapolis putting their smarts to the test, and they're getting some big recognition. Last weekend, the kids from Southwest High School earned a spot to travel to the World Robotics Competition down in Houston, Texas. Next week, before they head there, they're showing off the creation here. We have Mason, Jerry, Haley, and their mentor, Lynn. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Um, okay, first and foremost, does does the robot Mason have a name? Yes, it does. Its name is Chester. As a, can you say why? Yeah. So, <laughs> in the robot, you uh -huh. can see there are these. Yeah, let's fire it up. Oh. Notes. They are orange rings, and over time, they tend to deteriorate a bit, and they'll flake off, and it looks like Cheeto dust, so we named it Chester after the Cheetos mascot. Obviously, Mason makes a lot of sense, for sure. Um, and how long did it cre take to create something like this? So we spent seven weeks designing it, from challenge to finished robot. It took seven weeks. We went to our first competition. There we were finalists, and now we've had another six weeks to work on it, and this is our final machine that we're going to take with us to Jerry, the World Championship. Uh, sorry, Jerry, I understand you guys were making some tweaks last night yes, or yesterday. Um, so is this just a constant evolution of what you think yes. you're going to start with, and then it just evolves? Uh, yes. Even you know, so even even if our season were to end short, it doesn't matter. We'd always try to keep iterating on it, improving it as the best we can, uh, always looking at other teams for inspiration, and uh, just thinking or designing more processes to uh, make this robot work better or just do better in general. Sure, kind of perfect it a little bit. Yes. Okay, so the, it's picking up the, you know, the Cheeto disc, yep. essentially. And then is the idea to get it to go as far as it can? It, it needs to shoot into a higher low goal. So if we wanted to shoot into the high goal, for example, um, I could press down this button and it would spin up. Let's do it. There's uh, nothing important in here, not cameras, lights, or anything. Beep. Go, Haley, go. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Out of the studio, even. Haley, okay, how cool is this, and what has this experience been like for you? Like, what, you go into this probably thinking, okay, this will be neat, I'll learn some things. What have you gained from this experience? I've gained a lot from this experience. I love uh, just what we learn throughout the entire um, design process, mm -hmm. where we start at square one with just a couple ideas of what we want the robot to do, and then we iterate on that, we design the whole robot virtually in CAD, and then we build it, and it's just great to see. I'm so impressed with you guys. You guys are, what, 16, 17, 18 year olds. I can barely get my coffee machine to work some mornings, and you've created this. Lynn, I would imagine, too, just obviously you're the mentor, you're there to help, you're guiding, but a lot of it is they're figuring this out, and you're just kind of there as a, a helpful hand. Yes, this, this team is very student-led, so mentors are there to help, but mentors do not touch the robot. They do not design the robot. It's, it's all very much student student driven and also they, they only got every year is a different challenge and they only received this challenge on January 6th so oh. I think Mason made it sound like they have longer than they have but they don't sure and, on, and we only found out that we could go that we we're going to the world championship on Saturday night so and we're leaving Tuesday morning okay so wow it's okay. kind of crazy <laughs> Mason talk about that experience I mean you're not going yet but you're heading to Texas what are you excited about what are you nervous about what do you do you have any idea of what it's how it's gonna go yeah it's gonna be really incredible we get to play against the best teams in the world from all around the world we get to talk to them um, and really work on our robot as well as learn so much from these other teams mm -hmm. it's going to be a really incredible experience especially with our team just growing um, you know with with the the friendships that are already uh, happening sure Jerry I understand you guys were friends before this and, and yes. you said okay I want to do this this is fun we do have some video of you guys competing um, it, take us into a situation like this uh, how much are you watching the other teams do you know what the other teams are bringing when it comes to their robot or is it all just everybody's coming in blind uh, uh, so basically it, it, we don't come in exactly blind we have uh, well we have ourselves helping mm -hmm. each other out trying to build this robot Online, there are forums where there are other robotics teams that have these things called um, Open Alliance, where it's essentially this huge thread of like their journey through mm -hmm. the design process, the building, the failures, the successes, and the sort. 
you're kind of scouting them. Yes. You, gotta, you know, you got to yeah. know your competition, yeah. right? Uh, Haley, you guys, again, you're leaving soon. People can help you get there because this is expensive. You guys got to get down to Texas, the other robot. Um, talk a little about just experience so far and, and seeing people kind of rally around you and, and the opportunity to go now put this to the test to some of the best teams in the country. Yeah, it's been a great journey, and I'm just so glad we have support, and we would appreciate um, some support as well through our GoFundMe. Okay, okay, that's what we wanted to let you guys know. The competition, obviously, they would need some help getting there. So you can chip in for the fundraiser, travel expenses, head to um, GoFundMe and search Southwest Robotics, right? That's the that's where they search and they can donate some money? Yes, I think Southwest Robotics will bring it up or else Team 2129. 2129. Bring it up. Okay, now you know what it looks like. Now you know what they look like. Show them some love. Good job, guys. Let us know how things go, okay? Yep. Well done. I also okay. wanted to maybe give a shout out to our Alliance team that we're sharing a 24-hour bus ride with, the Loretto Lightning. They're team 9576, and they also have a GoFundMe. So okay. if you're out the Loretto direction, perhaps you could help their team out. That'd be great. 24 hours with a bunch of high school kids. 24 in a bus hours later. straight down to Houston. Can't wait. <laughs> Whew, you got this. You got this. Well done, guys. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank you.